All right. So I've been watching some videos of people adding these LED cargo lights to their Ford Broncos on the back glass for additional cargo lighting. And I want to do something similar on mine, but I wanted mine to work a little bit differently than what I'd seen everybody else do. So I wanted mine to come on automatically when the tailgate opens without having to plug anything in or turn any switches on. So you can see here, open the tailgate, comes on. I'll go ahead and flip the back glass up. You can see how much light this adds back here. Before all you have is this little cargo light here, which doesn't put off very much light. <clears throat> and I couldn't see trying to get back in here and get some tools out or get any cargo from back here out of my truck. So how I did this was, I bought this LED strip off Amazon. I'd recommend not getting ones that are made for Broncos. The ones that are made for Jeeps are usually a little bit cheaper. And it's the same exact thing. It's got an adhesive backing on it. And then this rubber trim, or plastic trim piece is pretty uh, smooth surface for you to stick that to. It's been sticking pretty well. And then I just ran this wire down with the washer hose and then stuffed the wire back in behind this weather stripping. Then I bought a toggle switch in case I wanted to cut the lights on and off with the tailgate open. And this toggle switch actually has the same connector that the light comes with, so I didn't have to do any soldering or <clears throat> use any butt connectors to hook this all up. And I think the thing I like about these connectors is, and the way I've laid it out, if I ever want to take my top off, all I have to do is unplug it here, and the light will stay with the top, and the rest of the wiring will just stay with the truck. So from this toggle switch, it goes down into this proximity sensor. And this proximity sensor is what makes it turn on and off whenever I open and close the door. So <clears throat> this is made for cabinets, cabinet lighting, and uh, it's 12 volts. It's got the same connectors as this switch. So everything just plugs and plays. I just stuck it with some uh, double-sided tape. It doesn't come with any adhesive on it, so you will have to do that. You will have to have that extra. From this sensor, I have another metal uh, wire end that just has the two black and red wires coming off of it. And from there, I just tied it into this cigarette lighter. So the back of this, if you take this panel off here, you can get to the connector for this cigarette lighter and you'll be able to uh, tie into those. It's only got two wires. It's got a positive and a negative. <clears throat> so if you just figure out what your positive and negative is, you can tie into that and your, your lights will work. The only bad part about using this, doing it this way, is uh, after an hour, your lights will cut off after your truck has been off for an hour. But if you want them to come back on, all you have to do is hit the key and they'll come back on for another hour. And that was gonna work for me. So just do a little demonstration here. I'll close the tailgate with the, so you can see, cuts on and off as I open and close the tailgate. To me, that's just way more functional than having to, you know, plug, plug it into a cigarette lighter and have it, have that cigarette lighter taken up so you can't put anything in it or having like a switch somewhere that you have to cut on every time you do it. This just makes way more sense to me and seems like it's way more functional. I think other people will think that too. So I just want to show you guys what I did. Maybe y'all think this might work for you. All right. Thank you for watching.